Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're playing World of Warcraft. And so, yeah, we're gonna get started by creating a new, brand new, never touched character. So, let's get started. So, I have been in Marvel World of Warcraft ever since I was first introduced to it by my dad. So, yeah, I played it multiple times. I played every single character. Don't judge. So, yeah, let's get started. I like the night elves, so I'm gonna go for a night elf, and then we can go for a warrior. So we can go for hunter, rogue, priest, mage, monk, druid, or death knight. I don't like going for the death knight, but I will go for <clears throat> hunter. Because they just have their pets and they're just so pretty. Okay, so let's get started. Let's do that. Now let's customize her. Okay, let's get started. There we go. Okay, now hairstyle. That's so cute. Mm. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, those. But the one braid. Mm. Ugh, I don't know what to choose. Mm, I'll go with that. The hair color. Hmm, I think I'll go with that. Okay, so now her name is going to be Victoria. Victoria? Eve. Evil, Tori Evil, because, mm hmm. So it's like the Victorian age. <clears throat> and so, let's enter worlds. Mm hmm. So, yeah, this takes a long time to load. So, yeah. Okay, so After we're years in. After of imprisonment within the Emerald Nightmare, Arc Druid Malfurion Stormrage has finally returned to the mortal world. Reunited with his love, Tyrande Whisperwind, Malfurion endeavors now to heal the corrupted world tree Teldrassil and rejuvenate the spirit of the Night Elf people. Yet as the great cataclysm shakes the boughs of their colossal tree, the Night Elves brace themselves against the coming storm. As war and destruction close in from all sides, it falls to Night Elves like you to stand strong and protect the enduring legacy of your people. <clears throat> okay, so there was a little story for uh, background Farewell. for the Night Elves. So yeah, let's go on and get started. So wait, our first quest is this. We have to, you can pause the episode, video if you want to read this, but basically we have to go kill these things. Yay! Okay, so, <clears throat> so, okay. Let's go over here. System, uh, graphics, it's in, ding. No, it was in, what was it in? Not work, I think. No. Hmm. Alright, it's in interview. So in display or combat. Hmm. Where was it? Auto loot. There it is. Okay. So auto loot is on. So. I'm gonna give you a brief description on the screen. So over here, this is like your character. If you have a pet, this is your pet. And then you have a, your enemy or whatever you clicked on over here. Chat, and then this is like friends. This is a, like, Liz a chat. And then this is to like choose a chat and stuff. So, and then this is a log. 
then over here you have your bags so in here I have my hair and a hearthstone this you can use to travel back to where you first started and you can change it with every new inn you find this is the game menu aka the pause what well, does it actually pause then these are you these are unavailable this is the collections whereas you can choose pets but you have to buy them <coughs> then appearances and then over here you have got a guild and communications which i don't use because i don't have a guild and this is the quest log this is where you can find all your quests <coughs> this is achievements this is spellbook and abilities so these are the abilities you're able to get and this is your character information. So I'm a level one beast mastery hunter. And so I don't have any titles. And so yeah, this is me. And then over here you have your quests. Oh wait, no, first down here you have, so depending on what uh, type of person you chose, you have your weapons. And then, cause I'm a shadow knight. I have shadow med, which means I can slip into the shadows. And I have called pet since I have my pet, and then I have revive pet. And so, over here we have a map in the place I'm in. And then we have this to show if like you're under anything. And then over here is the tracking. Over here is just to zoom in the map. This is the calendar. And then over here is like, clock settings, I don't know. This is the world map, so you can choose any type of map you want. So yeah, that's pretty much all that's on this screen. But as you level up, you get more and more attacks. Hopefully I've given you guys enough information. And then the controls are normal WASD controls and then you can you use your mouse to look around. And then also, just because you're a hunter, it doesn't mean that you, so you, even as a hunter, uh, you can only shoot for a certain mile away, a certain uh, distance, so like you can be as close as you want, but like, um, if you're like way over here, you cannot shoot that target, that's pretty much as far as you can shoot. So yeah. Oh no wait. Oh yeah, and then on your keyboard, uh, X is to sit down and stand up, and Z is to grab your weapon and put it back behind you, or um, put it away. M is also for the map. Uh, so you can figure that out, and C is for your character information log thing. And then, uh, t uh, that you can click on people to return or accept quests. And, so yeah, you complete quests to do it all. Can I assist you, Asha Fella? <laughs> so yeah, so let's continue this gameplay. So yeah. Okay, so these are like little fell uh, demon creatures. Pretty much demons. And so, yeah. Okay, so for this quest, you have to collect bags. Let's see if I can find any. Uh, here's a bag. So you have to collect these types of bags. You can click on them, and it says retrieving. And that happens. So that's how you collect the bags. And then like there's like a bunch of around. Sometimes you have to wait for them to respawn. But that's pretty much all that's needs that is needed to be done. So other than the, other than that, it's completely fine. So if there are none around, just you could just wait for them to start to uh, respawn to reappear. Okay. So 
see, like, see, look, there's a bag right over there. Okay, so that's one quest complete now. We have to just continue getting rid of these things. Ah, uh, there, there. Okay, let's start killing. Jack, get your way to so, <clears throat> so once you've completed a quest, usually, so usually, depending on what's above their name, if it's red, that means that they're really hostile and they'll attack if you get near. If they're yellow, that means they're neutral and they will only attack if you actually attack them. And if they are green, that means that they will not attack and most likely will not attack you if you attack them. I still don't get the green parts, cause these deer, these deer are, or they're yellow. But then again, they're really weak. So, the boars will attack you. So, and they are not as weak, but. Okay. Well, 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 look over here. They move, do, do, do. Continue complete quest. Goodbye. So you get a ward uh, as you complete quests, and so, and then that means you've leveled up, and so as you level up, so does your um, uh, pet if you have one, and so let's go. Now your map is like there. Yeah, I don't get what that thing is. But this is your map, and so it shows you where you have to go. Yeah, I don't know why that keeps happening when you run, but whatever. So let's just continue going. Oh, uh, I think that happens when you click shift, okay. That's, I think, a new update. Okay, so we have to go over here. Look at these deer, see? Look at how weak they are. Also, killing deer will give you points, but you can but you cannot just level up on deers. Uh, I'll give you that. Goddess, bless you. Okay, she is my favorite. Okay, so we have to collect these. Now, <clears throat> these this is my favorite part. Uh, this is my favorite quest, and so. And uh, also, um, <clears throat> this is like, this is one of the most simple quests you can do, but you have to, but in order to do this quest, you have to do a bunch of quests before it. And so it gets really tiring. Anyway, guys. Uh, yeah, let's go for a little swim across to the other pond. Also, by the way, uh, each race has their own different swimming styles. So each swim is unique in their own way. So like these swim styles, so for these night elves, they swim like mermaids. But yeah. The loon be with you. And you can choose either to be the horde or the alliance. I'll send, I'll make a video uh, Monday. Uh, Monday, and it'll show the different, uh, uh, unique, uh, things. Anyway, that's gonna, that, it's gonna be it for today's video. Um, as you guys can see, so, I'm just going, so that'll be it for today's video, and, um, I'll see you all next time, and, yeah, see ya, peace, and look forward to, also, there will be another episode of, uh, World of Warcraft. Uh, so yeah. See you all next time.